Let's get in onto our big exclusive story for this afternoon. The world's cheapest car is not the fastest car, at least on the sales track. Tata Motors is facing a new hurdle that's falling sales for their car, Nano. In fact, the sales have plunged significantly for this month. Richita Saxena and Vishal Bhargav joining in with exclusive details on this story. Richita, I'm going to come to you first. If you could just tell us how significant the impact has been with respect to Nano sales. Yes, well, the nano sales, as you pointed out, have fallen from their peak in July, which was about 9,000 nanos per month, to just about 5,000 per month of sales in uh, September. Now, this is quite concerning, considering at a time when most other automakers are reporting record sales, uh, despite several challenges like auto components shorted, uh, shortages. Uh, Tata Motors Nano uh, has not delivered sales to, uh, to such a record level as many would have expected. When when we asked Tata Motors about uh, if this could be a concern related to demand, uh, Tata Motors has uh, told ET now that they are expecting sales to pick up further because they have just shut down their plant, uh, as in they have stopped production of Nano at their plant in Pantnagar, moved production to Sanan, and they are just opening sales uh, at uh, opening bookings at various dealerships across country where, they, where people can buy Nano off the shelf. So as they increase openings uh, throughout the country, they are expecting Nano sales to pick up. But many experts believe that this is a little concerning considering the nano model uh, works on uh, making profits only when the volumes are much higher and the demand currently that they are seeing right now may not be quite working in their favor. Right, uh, Richita, but Tata Motors has cleared all the outstanding bookings. Is the car available off the showroom? Yes, we spoke to uh, many dealers regarding uh, the availability of Nano and what they have mentioned is that uh, right now the bookings that uh, were given for one lakh uh, allottees uh, for the Nano when the Nano had just been launched, those bookings are still being carried out. But at places where uh, people can book a Nano and get it off the shelf, uh, the, the del delivery can happen almost immediately uh, after let's say next two to three days or a week. So there is enough stock available at the dealership level. But they have also mentioned that the class that many dealers were targeting and even Tata Motors was tar targeting to convert several two-wheeler buyers into car buyers, that is not uh, really happening to the kind of level that they had been expecting. So it's really about uh, this entire strategy. Uh, some questions are being raised on uh, whether the volumes that Tata Motors is expecting could really happen uh, over the course of this year. Thanks very much, Richita, for throwing light on those details. Uh, Vishal, I'm going to come across to you. Uh, Richita did point out that month over month there has been a steady decline, but uh, Tata Motors is pretty confident of a pickup in demand. But with respect to the nano break-even, that's going to get delayed. Absolutely, Avan. Uh, just uh, look, at, uh, look at the sort of targets analysts are working with when it comes to the, just a nano break even. Remember, the company invested about close to 2,500 crores in the entire project. Uh, Rujita mentioned the number of about 5,500 sales in the month of September. The analyst target when it comes to breaking even for the nano is close to about 18,000 units per month. So they're well, well short of that. Even if, even if somebody takes the assumption that they will see a 30%, 40% growth, you're still looking at a number which is about 80,000, 90,000. So 80, 80, 90,000. So these are type of numbers there because eventually the nano according to analyst needs to sell about 2.3 lakh units per year to break even given these volumes of about 8000 uh, per month you're going to clock about close to 1 lakh units. that's that's more than 50 percent shortfall just when it comes to the nano break even in terms of the margin impact probably just a sort of a silver lining is that probably margins won't get compressed going forward because with the type of uh, volume we are seeing of nano because the nano is essentially as Richard mentioned a, a high volume less profitable business so given the fact that we are seeing lesser volume just a silver lining probably could be that margins for Tata Motors which have been on the upside of the last four or five quarters might just stay steady and I think that's the only silver lining among the nano performance.